So I'm going to talk about a topic here that you'll come up from time to time. And that is, uh, how much is this costing you? So when you're going into Microsoft Azure and you're playing around and you're creating resources and creating networks and allocating VMs, experimenting, that's great if you're on the free account, but as soon as your free account expires and you go into the pay as you go situation, then you're going to start spending real money. What you can do is go under the subscriptions on the left, pick your subscription. Hopefully you only have one and you will see here a list of costs by resource. And so there's a number of resources that I have that are starting to accumulate money. Now, this isn't a lot of money in the grand scheme of things, but you can see here that I did something around here to accumulate some costs. And then I did something around here and that accelerated. And then I did something around here and that's really accelerated. So over time, I've done a few things that have uh, contributed to uh, this exponential increase, if you will, of current charges. I can see here that my uh, virtual machine that I created, Win2008 Server, I created it a couple of days ago, and that's already accounted for $5 of the charge. Okay, there is a storage account here that is $1.46, and going down here. So what I did, I've already I've done it, but if we go into uh, virtual machines, I just stopped this Win2008 virtual machine. And so that's deallocated it. There's no IP associated with it anymore. And the cost for the virtual machine should stop accumulating. Now I still have storage and things associated with this. So the, the virtual hard drive is stored in the storage account, etc. But uh, we can we can deal with that. So going into subscriptions is probably the best way to see how you're picking up these costs and to to uh, put a hold a stop on that.